uh, the biggest thing coming into camp was us were to build some depth, right? And I think the guys have done a great job. Ike, Eno, Trey Pierce have really growing from the spring. From where they were in the spring to where they are now is light years ahead. Still, we got to keep getting better with those guys. I think there's a good group of guys that are proven commodities that have played, uh, and these young guys are going to play. I mean, Trey played a little bit last year as a freshman. Uh, he'll be a true sophomore. Eno's a redshirt freshman. And then Ike, being a junior who's been in the program, has physically developed and done a great job over the summer of really changing his body. He's a 310-pound kid now, and when you look at him, uh, he looks slim for a 300, I know that sounds weird, but he looks slim for a 310 pound kid and he's done a great job. Yeah, I mean, we just talked about the, the story with Eno and Mason. I think KG does a great job with Trey Pierce, right? I think Stu does a great job with those edges and Demo does a great job with those edges. The secondary guys, Will, Macari, Rod and those guys, I mean, they do a great job with those young guys. And I feel like it's like a rite of passion because all those guys have had that happen to them when they first got here. Uh, and that's where you say it's a good team and the culture is good because those guys love helping each other. It's truly, if somebody else makes a play, guys are just excited as themselves making a play. And that's the, that's the special sauce there. And those guys have done a great job with that. And it's been awesome. And more and more, you see more and more kids every night in here watching film, in here with teammate, hey coach, knock on my, hey coach, can you watch this play with me real quick? What do you think? And this is before we have meetings. Like we'll have meetings today and, 90% of the guys have already watched all the clips, so it's, it's been exciting to see that. I don't think it's easy, but guys do it. I think you can do that if you're <clears throat> if you're a defensive lineman moving to offensive line. I think that's something that that's happened in the past, and 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 vice versa. Like I, they've, I've I've heard I've heard stories here. Yeah, center. The the hard thing about center is you're snapping a ball every play. The good thing about center is you got help on both sides, right? But like the thing about Dom is his toughness and his leadership. Like you hear him out there, he's making calls, he's tough, he's a guy that's gonna give you everything you got. And I think at the end of the day, when you have guys that are willing to do that, you can mold them and coach them however you want, which is great. They have, they have a ton of starts returning. They got a ton of veteran leadership. Uh, their quarterback makes it go. Uh, and he's gonna, he's gonna move around in that pocket enough where you have to keep him in there. They do a great job. They're, they're, they're a good football team. Uh, I feel like their offensive line does a great job working together. Uh, they do a good job of passing stuff off in the, in the pass game. And then in the run game, when they're allowed to stay on double teams, they do a great job. And those are things that, you know, we're going to have to combat with low, low pads. You know, we're going to have to keep him in the pocket. Uh, we'll have to do some things to make sure that we put our best foot forward, let our, let our personnel and our scheme help us in those situations because they're a really good football team.